Hey everybody, Pumpkin here. So, towards the end of my stream today, I decided to uh, play, play an Usurper deck. Most of the time when I play Usurper decks, it's just Human Usurper or like Slave Infantry Usurper. It's just like a normal Nilfgaard deck. But I decided, you know what, I'm going to play Vadir today. Vadir, for those of you who don't know, um, you play it on the melee row. It has an order, so you have to uh, wait a turn. Uh, and you seize a lock enemy unit. So, like, the best case scenario would be you steal a ghoul at 14, and that's a 28-point swing plus the value of body, which is crazy. Uh, that's actually never happened yet because I have yet to play against a big monster deck. But, um, yeah, I just went into deck builder and just put in every single lock in the game. Uh, no matter how bad the lock was. I mean, we're, we're even playing a Gora. This card's very expensive. But basically, anything that had the word lock on it, we put into the deck. And we won, like, six games in a row. I just... Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, this is by no means a tier one deck, but it's actually pretty good. Um, basically, you just lock everything. Every engine they play, you lock. Every mid-range card, you, you just lock everything. Uh, and then your finisher is a Petri Filter, which allows you to uh, bypass a zeal on one of your cards, and which in this case would be Vadir, and then you seize their card or steal their card. Um, usually I end up stealing like a five or six. Uh, if you get higher, great. If you get lower, meh, unfortunate. But yeah, it, it's been working pretty well. You just completely deny their entire deck. Any engine get, that gets played, you lock it. And Usurper, you know, denies their entire leader. So it's a very, very fun deck. Um, well, not really for your opponent. It's pretty cancerous because, you know, they don't get to do anything. I played against NR and they played an engine and I locked it. They played an engine and I locked it. I think they got one engine off in the entire game for like one turn. So I'll run through the list really quickly. Vadir, it's kind of your win con. Melee sees a locked enemy unit. Uh, basically, you just lock a bunch of stuff. And then at the end of the game, you Petri filters your Vadir. And then you steal a card. Very straightforward. Serret, um, very good with Ox. Damage an enemy by three. If Ox is in your hand, damage a unit by five instead. Um, Ox is down here, which allows you to lock an enemy unit. If you have Serret in your hand, you get to lock a multiple of that same unit. So obviously, it's going to be included in a lock deck. Um, Agora, melee, lock a unit, range, removal, units, lock. This is a very expensive lock. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. It's very, very expensive. You could play Letho instead. Letho is the same cost, same strength. Um, but if you play it on the range row, you can get an extra mulligan in the next round. Uh, but I chose to keep Agora instead because, you know, every now and then you can unlock your own engine. Or sometimes you don't draw Petri's filter and you have to drop Vadir by himself and hope your opponent doesn't remove it. And usually the removal would be like a lock. So you can end up unlocking your Vadir. So I kept Agora. You can put in um, Letho if you'd like. That's up to you. Roach, just a good card. Allows you to get early tempo in round one, which is very important in Nilfgaard. Uh, and works quite well with the Sire, which is the next card. Very good with Roach. Uh, Dorge, another lock because, you know, we need more locks. Ox, we talked about a little earlier. Lock. Uh, Witchers, their early tempo, their early thinning, good cards. Petri filters works very well with Vadir. Yeah, it's really the only reason to use it. Artifact compression, <laughs> lock a unit, restore it to its base power. Um, yeah, we're pe we're spending six provisions on this because it has the word lock on it. Um, you should probably not be playing this card. I just put it in because chat likes the word lock. I like the word lock. You can never have too many locks. I mean, you probably can, but you know. It has a nice reset. Um, you don't have to play this card. You can just play like Peter or just literally any other card. You can play Assassination if you'd like. I'm going to leave it here because it has the word lock on it. But if you do try the deck, feel free to change it. Uh, Vanamar works well with lock cards. Uh, you get to destroy a locked enemy unit. Pretty straightforward. They play a spear tip. You can lock it and then destroy it. Do keep in mind if it is round three, you might want to steal that card with Vadir. So you might not necessarily want to be killing the tallest unit. You might want to be killing like the second tallest unit. Uh, Impera Brigade, nice early tempo, nice thinning, good card. Shackles, it has the word lock on it. Uh, Nilfgaardian Knight, this is probably one of the strongest new uh, Nilfgaard cards. Um, Rod Tosser was nerfed, Enforcers were nerfed, and then they buffed Nilfgaardian Knight. So for those of you who don't know, Nilfgaardian Knight used to read, boost an enemy unit by two if it does not uh, kill itself. So you had to boost an enemy. Um, generally, you would only play this in like a kind of Mimi Kahir list where you like get the double boost, or you could boost a unit and then Peter it back down, or like Leo it back down, or Geralt, or Professional, whatever. Um, but generally, the, those decks weren't very good. Uh, but now, 
if you lose coin flip or like you're going first in round two or round three, you just open with this. It's a six point unit. It's a nice proactive large unit that's just good. I mean, this card is, I'm like 95% sure it's auto included in every Nilf card deck. The card is just phenomenal. It's just, it's just so good. Yeah, very straightforward. And worst case scenario, you boost your opponent's highest lock unit and then you steal it. And so the plus two is your plus two. So very, very, very strong card. Um, Alba Armored Calvary. It has the word lock. Pretty straightforward. Nausicaa Sergeant. Uh, it's a nice engine. Third on the back row. All your um, deploy effects, which is most of the cards in the deck, uh, allow this to get bigger. So good card. Auto include in every Nilf card deck. Slave Driver. Uh, every, most decks play this card. Uh, damage an enemy by two. Increase damage by one for every lock on your opponent's side of the board and your side of the board. Uh, what's funny is this deck plays a lot of locks, like a lot. I've had boards where there's like eight locks on the board. Okay, maybe not eight, seven. Um, maybe six. Let's say six. Uh, so if there's six locks on the board, this is six plus two. Um, that's a lot of damage. You do eight damage to a unit. That's crazy. Um, like you, you could get 10 points out of the slave driver. That's just, that's mind blowing. Granted, the only time you're getting that much damage is like against monsters, but still that that's like wrap your head around that. This card has a potential of like a 10 point bronze, which is crazy. Um, and against like uh, NR, basically if you have been locking units or you've ever locked an engine, the next engine that they play, Slave Driver kills it, it one shots it. So it's kind of like another lock in the sense that it removes the engine from the board. Um, so yeah, th this technically is another lock because yeah. So um, this is like a super degenerate, completely deny your opponent's strategy. Um, if you want GG's, probably don't play this deck because your opponent's gonna be very frustrated. Yeah. Uh, this deck struggles against decks that don't play engines. So basically SK or like point slam more of a nilf guard. But you queue into monst uh, you queue into NR or you queue into I don't know. Bas basically, any deck that has any kind of engines. Uh, I mean, I, I was playing this against Phil Evangel, and I won every single game. Um, and Phil Evangel, it runs a few engines, but it also plays a lot of big cards. Uh, and this deck can do well against monsters. You kind of have to draw decently. Uh, winning round one is pretty important, otherwise you're going to get bled. Um, yeah, so give the deck a try if you're wanting to completely deny your opponent's strategy. It's pretty fun. By no means a tier one deck, but... Uh, it's very interesting to say the least. I was very surprised at how well this did. I think we ended up going like eight and two, which for a deck that we threw together on the spot, that's literally just play every single lock. It's actually pretty impressive. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the games and I'll see you guys on the next video. Never won, never lost. It's war you want. You think old uh, Letho ability could come back? Have. Kills two adjacent units. Um, so the reason why that card would be good is a card like Regis, but they kind of removed Regis from the game, so... Yeah, you could, like, reset it with Peter. It'd be pretty good against big monsters, but that's about it. So, weirdly enough, Slave Drivers are actually really good in this deck, because they hit for, like, five. It's like a seven-point bronze. Impressed. Yeah, you better be. Your leader does nothing. Nada. Garbage. Oh. Nothing for the queen. Everything you played dies. Wait, how many locks do we have? One, two, two. What the? This deck sucks. Where are my locks? Okay, chat, have any of you guys done a, a large tempo play, Albrick, into Roach for a whopping eight points? Anybody? It's it's a pretty good play. Sure. No I shall make it so. Uh -huh. 
Isn't it, aren't these cards better than this card? Isn't it? Right, because all I have to do is kill little shitty engines. We lock one engine and then the rest just get killed by slave driver. Yeah? Yeah. Now we just need Petri's filter. an engine what a nice guy all right we are looking for a lock a lock petri filter and a lock so best possible cards would be agora alba petri best three cards in the deck go why not play calvi you can petri's and value in one turn i mean yeah but who cares no one plays artifact removal. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Oh. Saved. Saved. Huh. Nasty wounds, but you no. live. Awaiting your orders. That that one is that that's okay. I will I'll let you live. You're okay. Sometimes the price is too No. 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 That shit ain't gonna fly. Back in line! No. I killed for less. That's fine. You guys think he has artifact removal? There's no way, right? NR? What artifact removal is there in NR? None. Are you gonna do Stand Pythoris? and fight, cowards! No. Yeah, you can keep that one. Not just kidding. No, you get nothing. 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 Novigrad requires rejuvenation. A rebirth. All is in place. My dragon. Hundred percent win rate. It's so good. Wow. Lost to Ada. Yeah, we lost to Ada. Well, I mean, our draws are kind of meh. Zero percent win rate. No, 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 no. We had five hundred percent. We lost one game. Now we're at four hundred percent. We're still at four hundred percent win rate. The only way you get to zero is if you lose all the games that you won. Mm-hmm. Too long have we tolerated weak, sniffling emperors. Are there any good usurper decks? Yeah, this one. This is amazing. We have a 400% win rate. Have you not been listening? 400%. That's so good. Uh, 
I'm leaving. Good luck. <laughs> All right, take care, man. He's he's just jealous that he doesn't have a 400% win rate. It's understandable. Not everybody can achieve such a impressive feat. Have you seen the Reddit meme with you in the background? No. What is it? Do you have a link? Nani? Oh, it's the Enforcer deck. Oh, he's gonna be in for, like, a, a very rude awakening. Really sucks we didn't draw Vanny for these. I don't really, like, I need to pull Roadshot, but I don't know how. Like, I'm not gonna play these. You blush easily? Is that a problem? I do blush easily. I don't think that's necessarily a problem, Fight though. the Emperor and you might be freed! Huh. To work! Is this deck all locked? Yep. Because, you know, you, you gotta get your full Vanamar value. <laughs> or Vadir, whatever it's called. Who said it's a problem? I, no, I guess nobody. All lock usurper decks are good until you play zero engine Morvan. Yeah, I mean, I didn't say the deck was good. It just so happens that we keep queuing into engine decks, so it is quite good. Oh no no no! Oh no no! No no no! No no no! Very bad. You have a 300% win rate with the deck? Oh, that's good. That's good. You're getting there. You're getting there. One more game, you get 400%. A king faces difficult choices. I'm in no mood to talk. Oh, wow. I could do that too. It's just mine's not. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> it's 12. A shame I have no time. Pass. Thank you. Utter your wish, and I shall make it so. I use Jedi mind tricks. This deck didn't stand a chance against my cute Ada, though. Yeah, GG, uh, Zywer? 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 I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Jedi mind tricks? Yeah. When you want your opponent to pass, you use your Jedi mind tricks. What does Gachi will be skipped supposed to mean? I mean, you're smart. You know how to read. Gachi will be skipped. Welcome, 
Which of those four words do you not understand? Dude, you can't reach! And I can't reach either. What am I supposed to do? I mean, I don't care. It's not a problem for me. It's a problem for you. Wait a minute. If we play Ox, we lock every single Enforcer in his entire deck. Wow. And concede, maybe. What if he creates a new enforcer? How does he create a new enforcer? How is he gonna play diplomacy? How do you create a new enforcer? It's not a thing. There's no create in this game. Bow before the power <laughs> play another one. Let's see it. Play another. <laughs> They're dead already. Oh, my enforcer! Dude, this thing is doing five damage. It's crazy. He's gonna blue. Oh yeah, he's gonna blue dream my enforcer, and we can just whack it again. Play whack a mole. Bigger numbers. This is doing so much damage. The six damage. It's crazy. It's an eight point bronze. Wow. Let us see. <laughs> Wait, why is it locked? <laughs> Today you <laughs> 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 That's a shame. Today you great. <laughs> Salabim, thank you so much for the tier one sub, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Can we get some poggers in chat for all our subs today? Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Incoming Regis? Yeah, it is a Regis deck. I'm coming for you. Ooh, I'm coming for that enforcer. Boop. Thank you. Bow before the power <laughs> of the Empire. <laughs> I'll relieve you of that pouch. Are you got an enforcer? Wait, can I damage my own unit? Aww. He's gonna he's gonna regist me. Ay ay ay. Wait a minute. Is this like Secretly good? When I'm done with you, you shall beg for forgiveness. <laughs> There's no way that's correct. <laughs> Move! Yo, Gwentarovich, thank you so much for the host. GG earlier. We play each other like, what, two to three times a day? GG, man. Thanks for the host.
if he locks a Ravadier, we could just unlock it. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. You can't set anything up because it one-shots it. He can't line up. It does way too much damage. Fight for the Emperor and you might be free. One, two, three, three four, five, six. It's doing eight damage. You can't line up. It does way too much damage. Yeah, come to Papa, my enforcer. His hand is Regis and something else. Probably like Sarah. No, you're in trouble. I can help. Oh, value. Uh. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Be gone. Leave us. We gotta unlock Roach for uh, round four. Uh. Can you? Impressive for a barbarian. Never <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're back to a 500% win rate chat. Thank you. Thank you. I think this deck is perfect. Mm. This is my new favorite deck.